Okay folks, time for another little equipment autopsy. I'm going to pull this uh, Mitsubishi condensing unit apart completely. It's been degassed. It's uh, got a burnt compressor. I already know what's wrong with it. Compressor's burnt out. Uh, 240 volt single phase unit. Um, 7.2 kilowatt cooling, 8 kilowatt heating capacity. Uh, made by Mitsubishi Electric in Thailand. This is a Mr. Slim system, basically. No, it's a bit windy out here, but bear with me and start pulling some covers off. Alright. Oh, gotten into this one. I can't remember what I ripped out of there. Uh, something. Must have needed it in a hurry because I've torn the PCB out, but I did rip something out of there. Oh yeah, I pulled the um, oh, solid state relay out of this one. That's right. There's a uh, another CT or something in there, so I just went rip and pulled the whole lot out. That's why there's a hole in the PCB. Compressor's definitely burnt. I've already owned it. I know it's bad. It's been recovered. It had burnt refrigerant in it. Uh, yeah, kind of pull the covers off. That screw was seized. Not anymore. Still a couple more screws to go. Uh, there's nothing special in these. Giant spider web, as usual. I think most of them are dead. I hit this one with um, Mortine a while ago. Electronic expansion valve in its coil. Obviously there's a reversing valve. Yeah. Bloody windy. Yeah, nearly there. Not a lot more to it. Lots of bloody spider webs though. Got a lot of tar paper insulation and foam, noise, noise suppression. Acoustic mat. Yeah. As usual, infested by spiders and other crap. The coil's not too bad. Bit of corrosion. So mister. an outdoor air thermistor in there. That's that one there. It's got outdoor air, it's got coil temperature sensors and other things on it. There should be three of them. There's the other one. That's compressor discharge temperature. The first one I ripped off was, I think it's evaporation temperature when this turns into a heat pump. Maybe icing detect the defrost uh, and the other one's outdoor air temperature so there's three of them yep. and the EEV like a stepping motor might push that through nope just rip it off instead <laughs> The expansion valve coming out through here. That's the liquid out or evaporation out. Uh, it's all liquid feed up to here and then it's always evaporating until it gets to the indoor unit. I think it's a noise issue. You don't hear the hissing of the expansion valve if it's down in the outdoor unit. If it was inside you'd hear a bit of a hissing and surging sound as it starts up and shuts down. So it's not a bad idea. Valve bracket. Yeah. yeah. Slowly getting there. Let's pull the top fan bracket off and pull the fan forwards and it rips the screws out of the base. No need to waste time pulling them out. Unscrewed and unhooked. And the rest of the crap. The coil's just sitting there now, so get the old snippies out. Compressor discharge gone. Compressor suction's gone. 
There we go. Don't mind the spiders and these things. Don't get a nasty fight. There we go. That's for further cleaning. You gotta peel all this shit off, all the plastic, cut the steel accumulator and RV out. Cut the TX valve out before you get cop off that value for it. As it is, it isn't worth shit. It's got to be cleaned, so to say. You just want clean, plain copper pipe. There's a lot of effort involved, which is why technicians don't bother scrapping units. They just leave them up to people like me. They give them to me free of charge, or I pay them a negligible fee for them. Not that it's hard to clean them, it's just time consuming. That's why I'm doing it now. For a burnt out compressor that motor looks quite remarkable. Uh, I'm guessing there's a uh, sort of a burnt patch inside it somewhere. It did ohm funny and it was taken out the circuit breaker. Yeah. I think the oil flooded back when it was recovered. Not supposed to do that. And again I am turning it backwards. No obvious signs of burnout, but it's, it was reading funny. Must be one little, little patch down the core. Interesting. Oh, do this one next.